What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am Sunny Brooks, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. Today, we're going to be talking about Rose of Jericho's, or Rose Jericho. You may have heard that, or Jericho Rose. <laughs> Um, which is known as the resurrection plant because I won't say it's impossible to kill it, but it is very hard because it resurrects, right? Um, you may or may not have ever seen this like this. This is my Rosa Jericho submerged. I'm going to be telling you two ways you can keep your Rosa Jericho alive. Um, this is how the Rosa Jericho comes. Um, it looks like this. This is like the quote unquote dead version of it. These are the roots. Okay. Uh, you can get Rosa Jericho. I'm sorry, I don't waste all the Rosa Jericho little dust. But um, you can get Rosa Jericho from our website at www.sofavibesco.com. Um, but the first way you can keep the Rosa Jericho alive or bring it back to life is. Um, one, keeping the roots in water. So you can get a bowl or a plate, a deep dish plate or something, and have water in it. And when you are, right here, you see this? The roots. When you are putting your Rosa Jericho in water, you don't want to put it completely in water. You just want the roots, which will be the bottom of the plant, like that. You want that to be in water. Because if it is fully or a halfway um, submerged in water, you will cause it to have mold and mildew and stuff. So you want to just keep the roots exposed. The best way to explain it is um, the bottom of the plant, put that in water. Uh, you can keep it for about three days in water, and then I say let it dry out. So say if you just got the Rosa Jericho, make you a bowl of water, put the roots in it. It'll take about maybe an hour, two to fully open up. The inside will turn green. You can kind of see that in this bowl, um, but it will turn green and it'll open up flat. When you can keep that like that, when it opens up, you can keep it like that for three days. Of course, you can change that water that the root is sitting in, that the roots are sitting in, or you could just leave the water three days. And then I say, take it out of water and let it dry, completely dry and close up for three days. And then if you want to open it back up, put it back in water every three days. Basically, three days in water, three days out of water so that it can completely dry. Because when you just have the roots in water, if um, you don't allow it to dry out, it can create mold. So you have to allow the Rosa Jericho plant to dry out after some time. That is the first way you can keep your Rosa Jericho. The second way you can keep your Rosa Jericho is submerged. Now, this takes a lot of training up front, but it doesn't, um, for me, I'm like not going to be opening and closing a Rosa Jericho every three days. I'm not doing that. So I keep it submerged in water. This bowl, um, this bowl you can get, they have some uh, nice round bowls, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Um, Michaels always have them if you can't find them for a good deal at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. Ross also, you can get them from Michaels. Um, you want to fill the bowl up. So basically you want to, the Rosa Jericho to be at the bottom of the bowl and you want to fill the water up where the Rosa Jericho is covered in it. This is going to take about, probably about at the max two months to fully train your Rosa Jericho to be submerged in water. You want to, um, change the water when you first submerge it. It's probably going to be like every day, every other day you want to change the water because the water is going to get really mucky. So you're going to see, it's going to be very dark and brown. It's going to look like swamp water almost. And it's going to stink. Um, so if you walk past your Rosa Jericho and you're like, what is that smell? It is time to change the water. Uh, so I would say every other day or every two days, change the water. Just basically 
dump the water out. You're going to take the Rose of Jericho. If you haven't already, go back to a few videos ago where I showed you how to clean the Rose of Jericho and submerge it in water, how to train it. Um, and I take you step by step. But you're going to empty the water and you're going to take the Rose of Jericho out. You're going to rinse the Rose of Jericho off with cold water, not warm water not hot water cold water you're gonna rinse it off and you're just gonna do like this on top of it just rinse it off because if it's any film or anything you want to just get that off rinse the roots out rinse everything off and then put it back in the bowl fill it up with clean water you're gonna keep doing that until it's basically it's gonna take longer for the water to get dirty so at the beginning it may get dirty every day then every other day then every three days then once a week and you want to keep it like that um you want to keep changing the water until you train it to be submerged in water so for example this water has been in uh i would say this rose of jericho water has been here for about a month it is time it doesn't yeah it doesn't stink at all um you can i how i know is because i start to see little film little bacteria is not as clear as if i changed it so um this you can definitely i can change this but it's not stink or anything like that um I, but i see the the bacteria starting to form so i would change this and i think i have had this submerged in water for almost a year now yeah since probably last year july or august so this has can be underwater probably a month without me changing the water and literally i do the same thing i empty the water i cleanse the um Rose of Jericho with some cool water and then I fill it back up and then I leave it for another month or so. Um, Rose of Jericho is really good for peace, um, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, abundance, bringing good luck and blessings into your home. So I always think having one open in your home. I have two open in my home. I'm trying to think. I have two um, Rose of Jericho's at home. I have one in the office um, at the warehouse for the place of business. And then um, you can always save the water. I have some first, what I call is like first uh, Rose of Jericho water, which is like the first time I ever submerged it in water. That water is very stink, stinky, is but it's, it's the pure essence of Rose of Jericho. So I just use a tad big and mop water or some different other rituals. But this, like, once I empty this, I can take a cup of this and put it in my mop water or put it in my floor wash or my, um, if I'm, like, cleaning my baseboards or something. It's really um, popular when people use, they use the Rose of Jericho water to wash their doorways with it so they can welcome in the blessings and prosperity and things. Um, so, Rose of Jericho is a really good plant. It's hard to really kill. Um, but yeah, if it comes dried up looking like this, this looks like a two-headed Rosa Jericho because you got this one big head right here and then you can kind of see one was starting to form. This one probably won't end up growing because it's not uh, fully mature. So yeah, you just want to be sure to either decide if you want to keep it fully submerged and if you want to keep it fully submerged, you're going to do a lot of training in the beginning. If you don't want to do a lot of training in the beginning, then you're going to want to do open and close. One day open, uh, well, the three days in water opening, three days out of water drying, right? Um, if you guys have any questions about Rose of Jericho's, let me know. Put them down in the, um, what is it, the comments? Yeah, <laughs> in the comments, you may call it Rose Jericho. I call it Rose of Jericho. Um, they're known as the resurrection plant. This is two ways that you can keep them alive. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Any video ideas y'all want to see, put them in the comments. Until we meet again, make sure you subscribe and like this video. I love y'all. Bye.